Hello and welcome back to our study of Penine Halacha, the teachings of Rabbi Eliezer Malamed, Shlita. We find ourselves in the midst of the Shloshe Simei Hagbal as we prepare for Chag HaShavuos. Wonderful opportunity for us to get a couple of more mini shiurim in place as we prepare for his Man Matan Torah. So the next chapter is called Mita. Adam Shrotz Lekaimetz Mitzvah Sachnas Archem Bihidur a person who wants to properly fulfill the mitzvah of welcoming guests, and you want to do it in a beautiful way, so we have to make sure that we have our home set up in a way that our guests will feel comfortable. So when setting up a home, we think about how we set up our rooms, our children's rooms, our home office, but we should also think about how we set up a guest room so we can fulfill this mitzvah. And a couple that's getting married, and they're purchasing new items to set up their new home, the new apartment. You should also take into account, and it should enter into the calculations, that hopefully people will come and visit. Maybe guests will come. Whether it's family visiting or it's friends. So in order to make sure that guests are comfortable, you should make sure that you have comfortable beds, nice blankets, nice pillows, etc. So it can happen that someone will invite his friends or family members to stay over in the house. And the guests will assume, well, of course, we have a nice place to sit, a nice place to sleep, and we'll be comfortable. And when nighttime comes and he's tired, the guest is tired, maybe they have some sort of pull-out bed or it's not a permanent bed and it's creaking, making all sorts of noises. They never thought about pillows and blankets. It's almost as if people don't even like pillows or don't use pillows. And the blanket's not inside of the cover sheet. Because, you know, who's going to prepare a whole duvet cover, let's say, for one or two nights? And maybe... And then in winter, they realize, oh, you know what? They don't really even have a warm blanket. And maybe, oh, maybe a temporary little throw blanket will do. And then it comes night, and the guest has to intimate. He says, you know what? I'm, I'm cold. I need something warmer. And then the host there starts scrambling around, scurrying about, trying to find blankets, and this and that, and the guest has to kind of creep around in this very bungled situation. Because he knows that, you know, this whole thing is going to fall apart. And the guest will not have a good night's sleep, and he'll say to himself, why on earth did I even come here? So we want to avoid these types of situations where our guests will be put in an uncomfortable position. So the general rule is, If you invite guests over, you have to know what's written in the Sefer Avas Chesed. Sometimes a guest prefers more, or it's more welcoming or comforting to a guest to have a good night's sleep in a comfortable place than having a good meal. And you have to tell the guests ahead of time, listen, I only have a pull-out couch, or I don't have the most comfortable bed or blankets or something, and then you have to give that information up front so that the guest can make a decision whether he still wants to come or not. But one should always try to make sure that you have the proper accoutrements a nice comfortable bed, blankets, pillows, etc., so that we should even run into this situation. I'm sure we've all 
been in that matzav. We've all been in that situation where you're a guest in someone's home, and it's just not the most comfortable setup. And it does make for an awkward stay, especially when the hosts say, oh, isn't everything great? And you don't really want to insult them and say, no, it was not. No, it was not comfortable. So we have to go out of our way to try and make sure that our guests have everything that they need besides hot meal and drinks, etc., but also a comfortable place to sleep. And also, I'd add, even in our day and age, certainly with the luxury in which we live, but to have privacy, if we can afford them certain levels of privacy so that they can feel as much at home as possible. So this is also part of hachnasas orchem, is trying to make someone comfortable, even if perhaps they may not be willing to say something to you, you have to try to anticipate everyone's needs. So I hope everyone has a great day. We will continue, God willing, with one more session for Erev Yantif, and we will then enter into Chag HaShua's Man Matan Torah Seinu HaBa'aleinu Latova. Until then, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you here next time.